stand by. These are hot cherry peppers. And it's a pretty fast growing plant. It's about as big as it's going to get uh, in a container. It grows a little bit bigger in the, uh, in the dirt. Um, yeah, I see a little infestation here of some stink bugs. It's not good. But the peppers themselves are very prolific. They're pretty tasty. They start off green. They turn into this beautiful red. Uh, these are great for pickling, but we just enjoy these fresh right off the vine and right into a salad and so forth. Good eating. I already showed you a uh, scorpion pepper. I've got a bunch of them. I, I don't know why I didn't do this one instead, but it has a little bit uh, nicer example of fruit. Um, I wouldn't call this a prolific pepper, but of course a 2 million on a Scoville rating, you don't need more than one or two of these. In fact, I was out the other day uh, and some critter, probably a raccoon, climbed up on my container, took down one of these and helped himself. He didn't even get so much as a tooth mark in, in that pepper, he dropped it and scurried off probably to to the pond to get a drink. But I took that pepper and I broke it in half. You could just, the, the effervescence of these peppers is phenomenal. And I've got, my wrist is really sore. It's an old golf injury. And I rubbed that on there. <laughs> Boy, that works better than any kind of ointment you can imagine. And it, it lasted for at least overnight. Uh, it lasted through, you know, I took a shower, you could feel it burning. So, uh, that, you know, that's, that's cheap ointment right there. If I can't make a sauce or do anything else with these, I've got uh, for therapeutic purposes, you got to wear a good example of a jalapeno. It's been hanging around for a while. And there's a good example right there of a stink bug. <laughs> uh, I noticed in the morning the birds really go crazy picking off some of these bugs, so that's a good thing. I've taken a picture of this bug, sent it into the local extension, and uh, let the Duval County Master Gardeners try to identify it. They couldn't. They sent it off to the University of Florida and the biologist there told me that this was a beneficial insect and in not to kill it. Well, it's not so beneficial. In fact, it's a stink bug. But there you have that. This is a tequila sunrise pepper. You can see uh, the fruit here. Starts off green, gets to about, I guess it can get to about six or seven inches. Mine have been turning, they go from green to this beautiful orange. Uh, it's about two or three inches. They're hot. It's got to be about 12,000 on the Scoville rating. It's an ornamental plant. I didn't really know that. It's not going to grow much bigger than maybe two feet. Uh, the fruit has a real not tough, but it has a waxy coating. It's a thick-walled uh, pepper, uh, but the uh, it's quite prolific. It's fast-growing, uh, and it, as I say, it's hot. I wanted to grow these. It's just something for salads, but forget about it. We, you know, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been into one and, and had to run and get an ice cube and some yogurt. By the way, if you ever burn yourself uh, from a hot pepper. Uh, ice is fine, but you need to get something like a yogurt or cream or milk and that cuts the uh, the oil a little bit so that'll save your uh, save your tongue. Decent pepper probably won't grow it again. No offense, Mr. Pepper. Okay, here's a boot jalakia, Scoville rating of a uh, a million two. So you can see it's a Got a wrinkled skin, it gets to be a couple inches long. Thin walled pepper, very flavorful, fruity, and hot. 
Uh, you can see a critter has been gnawing on this and probably didn't like it too much. Good. Anyway, this is a, a real slow growing pepper. I've had these now in pots for going on four months. Of course, everything in my garden, pepper wise, uh, has uh, kind of gone, gone into dormancy uh, during the heat of the summer here in Florida. And uh, I suspect some of these, this is the first time I'm growing a lot of these, but I suspect them to crank up big time in the fall and continue until uh, we have a frost. And if we don't have a frost, because these peppers are perennial, flowering perennials, they'll continue to to uh, produce for us. So that's a, a nice little bonus. Well, my daddle peppers are finally starting to get ripe. Thin walled pepper, a couple inches long. Similar in Scoville to the habanero, uh, so somewhere around 350,000. This should be pretty tasty. Well, we all know what that is. That's not a friend to a gardener, Mr. Grasshopper. This is a serrano pepper. It is an amazing plant. You can see the fruit is all over the place. It keeps coming and coming and coming. It doesn't mind the heat. It's a vigorous, fast grower. I'm 6'4". This plant is up to my chest. It's in the middle of my, uh, my patch of uh, eggplants and other peppers, including other serrano peppers. And for some reason, this thing is just genetically supercharged. I'll definitely be saving the seeds and taking cuttings. But the serrano pepper has its origins in the mountains of uh, Mexico. Uh, the fruit is going to get to, you know, it, it goes from green to red. You could pick it any stage in between. Uh, I've got a ton of these already in the freezer. I'm going to make sauces out of these. Um, it's a thin walled pepper. Probably not too suitable to make chipotles or anything like that, but wonderful is a standalone sauce. Uh, they're hot. It's got a Scoville rating of somewhere around, uh, you know, similar to a uh, a jalapeno, somewhere around eight to ten thousand. There you have so it. Got... We've looked at several of my peppers, various stages of growth. I would say. Uh, I'm pretty happy so far with the results. Um, summer is brutal on, in Florida on uh, peppers and tomatoes and eggplants and you know just about everything.